Hi friends, I am Dr. Zainab Vora, Faculty Radiology, teaching currently at Conceptual Radiology. I am here to talk to you about how Conceptual as a platform is going to help our young residents who are currently pursuing their residency in either radiology or orthopedics or OBGY or anesthesia and upcoming we have medicine which is in the pipelines. So, how should you best use the conceptual platform in order to make the most of it, you know? So, first thing is all of you are gonna have very busy lives. It becomes very difficult to manage your personal life, your duties, your academics, and then the constant pressure of exams and thesis. And, and it becomes a struggle to manage all of this. And I've been through that and I can tell you it's difficult for sure. And there's a major transition for most of us wherein, you know, you want to settle down in your lives and other stuff is going on in parallel so my advice to you is just do one video daily you know you have to take this app for accountability and you have to use it for accountability i think that's the best way to maintain that constant touch with academics and still make the best use of, of e-conceptual as a platform so daily make it a rule of watching one video you can do that passively as well you know while you're having your meals or you got a break for some time or you're doing some scut work wherein you don't really need active attention and you can be on your phone just listen to one video in that one one video you know even if you do one topic every day you are gonna eventually increase the confidence now unlike neat pg you know when we are preparing for neat pg we are in that zone where you have to give it your complete attention you have to give it full time you have to you know make notes now it's not like that now this profession is there for your life right your learning is gonna continue throughout so that's the approach you guys have to have it's not like you'll go home you'll open a book and you'll study it will never happen like that let me just tell you the learning happens on the job and to maintain academic continuum with that to maintain you know going back to studies with that i think this is the best way to do it to have it on your phone do it passively with a video one video daily at least if you, if you can do more if your exam going obviously you'll have to complete more stuff but as young residents in first and second year i think my advice to you would be just keep completing one one topic daily and that way when the exams are closer you'll feel much more confident so that's what you should do in addition we have solved dnb papers in almost all of the platforms now so make use of that you know keep reading these questions again and again so that when you are going to write your theory you know in your mind that what is a model theory answer look like right so keep solving these in radiology we also do a lot of case discussions we do spotter quizzes so participate in these so you get used to the exam feeling right from the beginning itself right so then the exam doesn't seem as overwhelming so all of these things you know the video lectures because there is so much content it might become overwhelming that what is to be done so either just appear for it live when it's going on or the other strategy i just told you is watch one topic daily and that we create a schedule for yourself you'll be done with with so many topics before you know it so that's how you make use of the videos apart from that you have the books with you make sure you use those as a base for you know your preparation of the theory exam you can use those books as the base that you refer and you add content to whenever you read any new resource so the learning is going to continue throughout and take it like that it's not gonna be like neat pg days or mbbs days where you come back to your hostel or your room or your house you're opening your book you're studying you're underlying it's not gonna happen like that you're studying on the job you're learning on the job even if you feel you're doing the most useless of the things remember you're learning something valuable and that's the approach you gotta have stay back in your department sometimes there can be some toxicity which you face from your seniors see how much you can take always remember to speak up if it's unbearable don't be scared of anybody you are gonna do this for the rest of your life so you want to become a very very good practicing radiologist or orthopedician or whatever it is that you've chosen and we're right here by your side helping you do that so if there is any other thing that you have as suggestions or feedback for us at eConceptual please feel free to comment down in the comment section and we'll get back to you thank you so much and all the best